See this right here? This right here is 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 perfect timing. It's perfect timing. But let me start off by saying this. Clearly, clearly this man Drake is a gatekeeper. That's clear. But in the same breath, this is also sending a message. Sending a message to the ones who are paying attention and who are intended to be the, the liberators of this time. And so with that said, this picture here is a template for Bitcoin going to 50 million to 100 million. Now, I understand everybody talk about these speculative uh, uh, projections. You got people saying that Bitcoin will be a million dollars at a certain point. Bitcoin will be at least 10 million. Yeah, I'm saying today that Bitcoin has the potential of surely going to 50 to 100 million per Bitcoin. And the reason why is because of reparations, period. Right now, we are living at a time where this nation don't want to give you the reparations due to the, the economics of it, the accounting of it. And if 14 trillion is the figure that we're looking at, then I, I have projections that puts if you got if the U.S. debt is 30 trillion, 31 trillion, 32 trillion. We ain't going to talk about the derivatives, but 31, 31 trillion. Let's just look at that. If each Bitcoin if each Satoshi in the Bitcoin was worth a dollar, that puts a total Bitcoin at a hundred million dollars per Bitcoin. If that was the case, if if each Bitcoin was a hundred million dollars right now, it would only take it would only take thirty one thousand Bitcoin in order to absorb the entirety of the the uh, U.S. the U.S. debt that we see that we know today. Now, if you if you wish to add the derivatives market to it, then you're talking about 65,000 Bitcoin. 65,000 Bitcoin could absorb the entire debt of the United States. And we could turn, we could begin to, um, you could take your dollars, we take our dollars, upgrade it to Bitcoin, into uh, Satoshis, and cryptos in general, um, in order to uh, secure the entire space. But you upgrade your U.S. dollars to Satoshis and instead of purchasing goods and services in dollars, you purchase them in Satoshis, which would be stable at that point. A Satoshi would the if if, if a hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin was real, then a dollar Satoshi would be a stable, uh, a stable token, basically. And what you do then is you are effectively stopping inflation because you're not spending dollars into the environment any longer.